The number one killer of performance max campaigns that 99% of e-commerce store owners don't even know about. I don't know. I've come to find out a very interesting thing in the recent time period regarding e-commerce store owners running Google Ads or Performance Max campaigns. And that is, there is one silent killer secretly lurking in the background of your Performance Max campaigns, slowly draining away your budget from your PMAX campaigns and leaving you dead broke at the very end. And because so many e-commerce store owners have zero idea about this one silent killer, they continue to run their PMAX campaigns with this enabled, with these things added. And as a result, they end up wasting tons and tons of budget. And before they know it, their e-commerce brand is on this downward spiral, which they have the most difficult time getting out of. The thing I'm referring to, which is the number one silent killer for 99% of e-commerce brands out there, is the asset section of any Performance Max campaign. Now, it's not really as easy as just not adding any assets or running the Performance Max campaign on just shopping only because unfortunately things go a little bit deeper than that. But before we dive into the deep end of the pool, let's first understand the consequences of even doing this in the first place. So right here on my screen, I have a Google Ads account pulled for you. This is one of the e-commerce brands which just recently started working with us under my Google Ads agency, Your Marketing, which if you're currently doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help to scale your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But this e-commerce brand was struggling on multiple levels when it came to raising the overall sales amount for their e-commerce brand, when it came to really growing their business in terms of the ROAS and profitability in general. Because the break-even ROAS for this brand is a 3x and unfortunately, this brand is running at a much, much lower number than a 3x. In fact, this number should be a bit lower because the conversion tracking is a bit messed up, which by the way, is another silent killer, but that's a topic for another video. We're going to focus on the main consequences of running assets within a performance max campaign and understand why it's so crucial to not do it in the first place. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to go ahead and on my top right, click reports because from reports, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to predefined reports dimensions, the first one, and then we're going to go all the way down to the last option. And from that last option, we're going to again, click the last option, which is performance max campaigns placement. Now, a lot of e-commerce store owners don't even know about this. So if this is something new, you're just understanding from this video, smash that like button for me for the YouTube algorithm. But this placement reports lets us know exactly where our money is getting wasted. And it's very helpful to understand why we should not be running assets within the PMAX campaigns in the first place. So within the report section, we can see, first of all, for just this month only, there are around 73,000 impressions for this top one section called Google owned and operated. Now, that's really not a big issue, but the real issue starts when we go below this main list at the very top. So it says the next one, 2,331 impressions for something called mobile app, news break, local news and alerts, Google Play by Particle Media Incorporation. Now, just pause for a second and Think about it. When was the last time when you were looking at the news, when you were reading the news, you decided to randomly click on an ad that's showing up on the right side, left side, top, bottom, wherever, and purchase from that? Just pause for a second and think about it. If you're like most people, you probably answered never. And that's the reality of these placements. If we look at the next placement, another news kind of placement right there, Third one, it says a mobile game, Candy Crush Saga, Google Play. I mean, when was the last time while you were just playing Candy Crush, you decided to just buy the ad that was popping up, constantly annoying you? And again, the answer would be probably never. As you go down this list, you start to understand that maybe Performance Max is not so smart to begin with. And the biggest kind of face palm moment comes when you understand that even though that this is just a list of 50 different placements that are just completely weird out of your audience or out of what you would normally want to be targeting, there's actually 4,929 placements you didn't even look at as of yet. Thanks to Performance Max Campaign's asset group section, 
you are gonna have to now go through this list and understand where you're losing money and why you are not able to sleep at night because you're not making any money from PMAX campaigns. Well, this is exactly why. So the consequences of essentially running assets within a PMAX campaign, if you do not regulate it properly, if you don't let your Google Ads team, whoever is handling your Google Ads for your brand, maybe it's you, maybe you hired somebody, the consequences are very grave and you have the potential even if you spend a dollar per placement it doesn't have to be a lot one dollar or maybe even 50 cents over four thousand different placements that equals over two thousand dollars over four thousand dollars and as it adds up it becomes a very very big number i mean if you look at this all time you can clearly see just how much impressions we have in total how much money this e-commerce brand probably wasted on these annoying stupid placements so this is one of the biggest kind of issues that I have with Performance Max and why I am such a big believer that you do not need to have assets going on in order to find any type of success with PMAX campaigns. So what you want to understand is because you're ranking for all of these asset groups, I mean, if we go back to that ad account right here, go back to the all campaign section and just look at some of the assets within that, what we can understand is there's a lot of different assets that Google's algorithm now has to kind of go through in order to understand what is a winning asset, what is not a winning asset. So in addition to ranking for those annoying placements, now the algorithm has to test between 10 different images, one logo, five videos, five headlines, five long headlines, and five descriptions. So it has to iterate through every single one of these kind of assets one by one, understand which logo image description combination is the best and which isn't the best, and then go from there. So we're just kind of overloading this pmax campaign with a lot of information it needs to sort through and even though a pmax campaign is designed to be smart it can become overloaded very quickly especially if you run the pmax campaign at very low budgets less than 500 to a thousand dollars a day so if you want to do that that's completely fine just do it without any assets and even above that budget i highly recommend you stay away from assets because if you want to run assets, might as well just launch a display campaign or a discovery campaign or a search campaign. A PMAX campaign does not need to be overloaded with these useless placements and these useless assets because within a PMAX campaign, even though they might be useful assets, they become useless very, very quickly because we lack control here. So essentially, because you're wasting money on all these unnecessary placements, you're losing the dollar amount, you're losing the ad spend, you could have kind of invested elsewhere and gotten a better return, which is why I'm so against these kinds of placements. But this kind of brings us to the next point, which is exactly how do you launch a PMAX campaign without any assets? I know this is like one of the most asked questions within my YouTube comment section or on my Instagram or Twitter. So I'm gonna answer that for you once and for all. Now, keep in mind, this can be different based on each ad account. So if this doesn't work for you, don't come in the comment section crying about it because every ad account is different. Some ad accounts, Google lets you do this. Some ad accounts, Google doesn't let you do this. And for those ad accounts where you cannot do this, I recommend the Google Ads editor. You can just Google that and you can try doing it that way. But on this ad account, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside one of the PMAX campaigns we have right here, go over to assets, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it so you can have this answered forever. So right now we already have one shopping campaign running only because it has no assets. The one with assets is currently paused. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this plus button. We're gonna click new asset group. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to copy anything. You don't have to duplicate anything. Just click brand new assets, scroll all the way down, make sure everything is chosen as it should be, and then just click save. That's it. That's all you have to do. Once you click save, as you can see, that new PMAX asset is now running and it's right here, asset group number three. You can see there are no logos, no nothing in there. It's just that asset group alone without anything added to it. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this because I don't need more assets within this campaign, but that's essentially it. That's all you have to do. Now, again, like I mentioned, this might work for your ad account or if your ad account has some different settings, it might not work for you. If that doesn't work for you, go on over to the Google Ads editor and try it that way. But what I want you to do next is I want you to click this video right next to me right here for my Google Ads strategy for 2023 because 
this just doing this alone is not gonna really help you take the brand to the next level watching this video on the google ad strategy will definitely help you understand what the best strategy for 2023 is but again if you're doing 40k or more per month in revenue you need some extra help scaling to the next level go into my website at yourmarketing.com the link is also in the description and in the comment section and let's potentially work together